everyone. Your designers are here. I'm Anita with Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Simple Home. We have tips and tricks and decorating advice for you. So let's get started. Hey, everybody. Welcome to episode 59. Nine ideas to turn your walls from blah to beautiful. We've got lots of interesting things to talk about today and how to do some inexpensive wall treatments uh, to hang on your wall and really Mm. bring your room together because I know I need to hang some things on my walls and when I do venture and get the hammer and put something up, it changes the space dramatically. You're right. So let's uh, kick off with Yvonne. Yvonne, give us an idea for something Mm. that you would like to hang on your walls. Well, I'll start out with clocks. I love those big, big clocks that are now really on trend. And uh, the thing I like about them is they're not very, you can get them very reasonably priced and they're like a friend for a season. I think mine are going to be up for a longer season, but they work... um, just almost anywhere. I have one in my, gosh, I have one in my living room. I have one in my dining room. I have one in my family room. And I think it just brings a lot of charm and warmth depending on how the style of clock you get. Uh, Empty frames. You know, I love love using empty frames on a wall, Uh, especially some that are just the old, uh, the old frames that have lots of detail and lots Mm -hmm. of carving on them. Maybe they're hand carved. Uh, just it, sometimes they're crumbling in some places, uh, gilded, just gorgeous. I love using these. And sometimes I find them on eBay or maybe out at Round Top. But if you even have two or three, and sometimes I put them on the wall and then hang something in the center of them. Like Oh, I love um, that look, Anita. Right. So I have mm-hmm. some wall sconces, some candle sconces inside some old frames also. Mm-hmm. I Anita. love that look too. And But I did have that in a house of mine years ago. And it's, I had some comments like, well, you know, why is it empty? Or, you know, did something fall out of it? Or, or <laughs> you know, did you have a priceless piece of art in there and it was stolen? So, I, you know, <laughs> go with but that I one. think it's a great look. And I also yeah. like to put a larger frame, as Anita described, and then maybe something smaller that's actually something inside a smaller frame, inside that. So it's a frame within a frame. That's a great designer trick. When you um, have uh, maybe a piece of art or a picture or something that you like, but it's too small, put put it on the wall, but put it in a a bigger frame around it. And Mm -hmm. it just makes the entire um, uh, picture that you're putting there just look so much bigger and expansive. I wanted to ask you, Anita, Mm -hmm. do you do anything with your frames or do you sort of leave them as is? I don't. Well, I mean, these old incredibly... Do you paint them? No, well, the old ones I wouldn't dare touch because yeah. they're falling apart and the they just have a, a patina about them that mm-hmm. I wouldn't dare touch. But some of the ones that are maybe 5, 10, 20 years old, I wouldn't mind painting those mm-hmm. if they were the wrong color. Okay. So, you know, this is my mantra, learn how to paint. That would mm-hmm. be beautiful. Oh, absolutely. And you know what's really in, what looks really nice is if um, you have ones that are paintable, instead of having them all different colors – Paint them all one color. Yeah, for unity. Um, and that, nice. yes, and put a few of them on the wall. It's a beautiful look. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And quite I, inexpensive. I and what you said, I've done that as well. I've hung smaller printed uh, frame, printed artwork, I've hung from the empty frames with a mm-hmm. ribbon. That looks beautiful. Yeah, so I think that's my fave. Just a little twist on that. Okay, so I have one a wrapped canvas. Mm. Um, I once had a very large area over a very large sofa and it just needed something. I I, I didn't have, you know, the budget to buy a giant piece of art. And I Mm -hmm. actually thought a giant piece of art would just be too much, you know, Mm -hmm. just so, it was so large, but I wanted to fill this whole space. A mirror just seems like, oh no, again, too big. And so I ended up, finding it online, but I had to drive out to this company because I wanted to save on the shipping. But I found (laughs) a place that just made 
a you know for actual artists just a piece a canvas that mm -hmm. was wrapped mm -hmm. and then i bought fabric that i loved and i covered this gigantic canvas with the fabric and just using a staple gun on the back and i oh, hung it what up a good idea mm -hmm. and then i pulled in the colors from that fabric wall hanging in the throw pillows and things like that and it was so inexpensive for that mm -hmm. large of a piece i think that the canvas I didn't get the, you know, ultra, you know, super fine artist quality mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. canvas. I just got, you know, a very simple one and it's you know, framed with wood. So it's sturdy and you just staple right into the back. And I, you know, had several yards of fabric and then I had some fabric left over and I made some little lumbar pillows. And I thought it was just a great way, again, to fill up a large space. Mm -hmm. And we've said to you guys before, you know, go big if you're going to mm -hmm. go, go Definitely. big. Mm -hmm. And this was so big. It was terrific. And you know, you couldn't, I mean, most of us couldn't afford a piece of art that big. No, that we I couldn't. wouldn't want to invest that much money. Yeah. And not only that, I get, I, I truly, this is a confession. I get tired of art. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. you know, I love, I love to go to museums. I love art in my home for a while. But then I get a little tired and I get a little restless and I want a little change. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that yeah. is a and you could wonderful changing idea it. that mm -hmm. I'm going to steal. No, steal it. Definitely. I mean, you could do it on a smaller scale as well. I mean, you could get an 11 by 14, something like that. You know, uh, a nice size one. But this this was huge. So picture, well, it was over the DNA couch at one point. So it's a very <laughs> big so, uh, red see sectional. The, see the sort. sofa. Um uh, episode for that. Yeah. <laughs> so DNA Yvonne, couch. I've heard yeah. about, no, I haven't seen them, but I was wondering if either you or Kelly have heard of these. We've been talking about the reposition of wallpaper, but have you heard of, it's basically like a poster you can put on the wall, but it sticks to the wall and it's repositionable, but it's not wallpaper for the entire wall. Have you heard of these? Yes. The company that um, I talk about, and I'll put it in the show notes, they also make those. Okay, yeah, yeah, I've seen yeah. those. I was, I've been working on designing something that I've been wanting in a room, but I haven't uh, pulled the trigger on that yet. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it looks I'll like I'll tell you, you can... some. Mm -hmm. I, I know. I don't know if we're going to talk about wallpaper, but I do want to talk about. Um, this is really cool because you were talking about sort of doing a, a mural type of thing. My daughter for her for Anderson, that's my grandson who's seven months. For the nursery, she didn't want anything too babyish. So we got a huge vintage map of the world. Oh, oh great brilliant. idea. And from, from, well, I'll just, from Walls Need Love. Yeah. And um, we, and it's repositional. And her husband put it on one wall uh, by his crib. And it is oh. amazing. Well, that reminds me of some things that I found at auction that I sold when I had the booth at Round Top. And they're basically prints of, uh, but they're quite wide. The one mm -hmm. I had was four, at least four feet wide, probably even wider. And you pull it down. Yes, and it's, yeah, it's like for a classroom or something, but it's, yes. it was a scene of like a countryside in Europe. It was really, oh. they were really charming. I got several of those and they sold like hotcakes, but that's a great, Ooh. of course you have to find those vintage because they've mm -hmm. got the long wood bar, but. Oh, know, I love I'm, that. Well, they, and they also but, have those like, um, I think that a lot of times they're German and they're. Well, this actually was mm -hmm. from Germany. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And they, yes. and sometimes they're uh, like from science classrooms or something. I guess like it that. was. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it probably was from a classroom because you could scroll it down or, mm -hmm. or pull it back up. Pretty cool. Well, here's a great hack for that. If you like that look, you can just get a big print or a big picture that you like or, you know, something that's on paper, even a beautiful piece of, um, of like gift wrap, you know, the kind that you buy in the sheets yeah. and you put a really thin strip of just, I don't know what kind of wood it is, just like a molding wood at the top and a molding mm -hmm. wood at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then you put string behind the top ends and bring it to the center and hang it. That's I, I a think great that's a great idea. idea. Yes. Yes. Almost like, like a banner. Yes. Like it's, a banner. But it, but it sort of looks like almost like a pull down mat, but it's not so heavy. Mm -hmm. Yes, I yes, I idea. love that. I love mm -hmm. that. It gives it some weight, too. With the, And with the... Uh, thinking of that, I'm just writing myself a little note to do a DIY on that because it's a beautiful look. Definitely. That's... Okay. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So, who do, uh, Yvonne, you want to jump in? You guys, yeah, you I'll do another finished? one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stop while she writes. She's going to stop and write a post. I'm feeling you. Come on. I got, I got DIY hang. That's as far as I got. But You'll I know what that is. And then as far as I, if I wrote that note to myself, then later on today, I'd be like, um, yeah, what, do, what, what does that, that mean? What, that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to tell Bob to hang? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, well, uh, I'm going to say chalkboards. Because they're still very, very mm. on trend mm-hmm. yeah. and so inexpensive. Very practical, too. And yes, and you can do a, a thousand things with them. You can put them as, you know, a to-do list, a menu, a chore chart, a, um, a lovely inspirational saying. And you can make so many things into a chalkboard. Mm-hmm. Like I took uh, silver platters. They weren't, you know, good silver platters. Paint, this was a few years ago, painted the center, did a few of them, and wrote things in it. And then I I bought for, I mean, just a song, somebody had made a chalkboard out of an old-fashioned mirror that it was attached to a dresser, you mm-hmm. know? Right, The kind right. that had, like, the finials and things at the top. Painted that and put a chalkboard in it, and it's it's huge, but it's so much fun, and it, it's just something so whimsical, and it takes up space. So, you know, you maybe not you wouldn't want it in your formal areas, but what about your dining room or your breakfast nook? Oh, wouldn't that I be think fun. It's kind of fun so, in the entryway too. You could write a little welcome oh, or something absolutely. like that. Absolutely. I think now, I've seen some bloggers put them in some gorgeous frames, and you know, in my at the farm. I had at one point taken a screen door and removed the screen and put and I remember a that into it. So can you put that in the show notes? Yes, I will. So that's definitely yes. something. I mean, with the black yeah. blackboard paint, you can uh, you can transform about any anything yes. into a blackboard. Yes. Chalkboard. right. That's what I, Yvonne was saying about painting. So you used the chalkboard paint, I would imagine, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. we're not talking about chalk paint, but chalkboard paint, which is right. well. Can black. I say this? Buy the spray paint, not the kind uh-huh. that you, you can always say buy the spray on. paint. I know <laughs> because <laughs> the uh, I've done both, and I think you get a more even. If you're careful, you get a more even mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. coverage with the spray paint. It doesn't have any brush strokes that's going to impede what you write on it. Yeah, and I have. Um, I I made a mistake when I designed my kitchen makeover and for some reason thought I would do this stone backsplash over my cooktop, which really did not go with my kitchen once it was done. It's like, yikes, you know, what do you do? And so I found um, a frame that fit that area and turned that frame, you know, we put a piece of plywood in the back of it, spray painted it, and I put my weekly menu on it. Oh, great idea. Now, it gets wow. splattered and all of that, but that's fine. I just take um, a degreaser, degrease it off, and start all over again. Yeah, well, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. And you it's know, inexpensive, and it's original. And that's what I want to say. Mm-hmm. Make make the things that you put on your wall important to you. You know, that segues very in- much into my next tip for what to put on the wall. And I have some frames they're really meant to put postcards in but they're kind of some arched frames with some hatchwork yes metal uh, wires so you're supposed to put postcards in there but i Mm -hmm. hung my daughter's baby girl baby dresses on there oh i i know i love i I love that i've seen that that's one of my favorite things you've done each bed and uh, the little secret is oh i probably Mm -hmm. shouldn't even say this but but you know i always do anyway right yes you do (laughs) Is uh, my mother-in-law was expecting, and they were in uh, in Geneva at the time, and she had bought this gorgeous little white dress for her. She just knew she was having a little girl. Well, of course, it ended up being my husband, so <laughs> we still have that dress. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Kevin yeah. works through that, though, the years of the dress. <laughs> That's right. So the dress, I still have that dress. Well, well, it's not my fault she kept it for this long. <laughs> Oh, I love that, Anita. That's one of the prettiest the other thing, things that you've done. Right. So it has some special meaning, but I think the mm-hmm. the idea of using vintage clothing was really my key point. But I think that something special to you is even better. But, mm-hmm. you know, old straw hats, I think, on a wall would be great. You know, yes. you could just go like, I know somebody that had her dad's World War II bomber jacket hung on oh. the wall. Well, I have my father when, um, during the Cuban Missile Crisis, we were very tiny. 
um, was stationed in a remote base called Wakanai, Japan. Mm -hmm. And we were back here living with my grandmother at the time. And he sent over kimonos for me and my sister and my brother. And I have my little kimono. And Mm -hmm. I'm in the process. I mean, everything in our house we do ourselves, so it takes us forever. But I'm going to put that little kimono in a frame and hang it up in our hallway. Oh, that's so fabulous. That's sweet. I love it. I love it. And I'm going to try to convince my sister to let me have hers or borrow (laughs) on loan, on loan. (laughs) Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Anytime we're talking about anything for your home, I mean, I always try to think first, is there something I can add that has some personal meaning to me? I mean, not always. Sometimes you just find something in store or vintage and you just say, I really like this and grab it. But if there's something that kind of reminds me of there's some some personal connection, I really like using those things for myself or for a client. And well, it's so nice I to agree. be able to bring it out of mm-hmm. the box or mm-hmm. the hope chest or the crate or you know the back of the garage. Yeah, absolutely, and, and enjoy it. And if you make something yourself, isn't that personal and meaning to you? Like you know, well, only if it doesn't canvas. look too horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really bad. Well, it never like comes out. Like stretching the canvas or deciding on the mm-hmm. frames. They're mm-hmm. they're not something that you buy at a store that somebody else does. You've done that yourself. Right. Yes. Yes. Um, another one that I have done before and I'm going to do in my living room here is I had long panels made. I did have the frames made because I wanted them to be long and thin. It was for my entryway in our prior house. And I had... Uh, chosen wallpaper that just picked up all my colors and the wallpaper fit it, you know, I made sure the width of the wallpaper was the right size for the frames or vice versa whichever you find first and I just dropped the rolled out the wallpaper dropped it in 
oh, and wow. put these two long panels on the wall and they were they filled the space beautifully instead of having a lot of little things or just things that were going on the horizontal mm -hmm. in the entryway I had these long panels next mm. to each other, long and thin. And now here I'm taking out the wallpaper because it's not the right colors. And mm. I'm searching for the right width wallpaper to wow. fit the frames that I've already had made. And I'm going to put them in this corner in my living room where one of those Brugere chairs is tucked. Yes. And I have, it, uh, I have a little chandelier swagged up and hanging down. So it needs something on either side. And I didn't mm. want to make it so busy mm -hmm. with a gallery wall or or just too plain with two little things stuck on either side in this corner. So I'm going to drop these long panels there. Kelly, that's for me the tip of the day because here's here's why. If you have a small space... I got the you... tip of the day, Anita. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was getting well, ready to add something well, to your tip. I got the tip well, of the day. But if you don't... If you... <laughs> My tip can't get any better. Wait, if you don't want to <laughs> wallpaper a small space... Yes. You could do these panels. It's you don't a toe have to dip into wallpaper. Mm -hmm. Right. But, but it's a beautiful look because you also have that clear, neg I don't, clear negative white space around it. Yeah. I like that so much. And you much. could even change the wallpaper out. I'm going know, like ding, 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 ding. A couple ding, of times a year. I know. So you I'm going to pile yes. on to your great idea here, yes. Kelly. Yes. Okay, you can ride in, on right? my brilliance. Go okay. ahead. <laughs> let me just, yes, let me just add, add to your brilliance. So I, one of the things I'm catching from what you're saying, and a lot of the ideas that we're pulling out here, is fewer, bigger things on the wall are really what's going to make the space kind of have an elegance to it. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I mean, that's always my recommendation. If you can go with fewer, bigger it's That's going right. to look better than a lot of small things. Okay, ding, 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 added value tip of the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Kelly. Oh, she is such a people pleaser. I am. Truly, okay, I everybody am. gets a star. Everybody yes. gets a popsicle. Hey, this is, everybody was, gets new underwear. Yeah, that's right. But but please go to Frigo to get it. 20 yeah, 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 exactly. Get, exactly. Use the discount code. Um, but no, I mean, if it was a competition, no, I believe in that. But yeah, I think that's a, <laughs> I, I believe in competition, but this is not. So I do think that that's, that is such an important thing. We always talk about less items, bigger items, mm -hmm. less yes. and bigger, less mm -hmm. and bigger, less and bigger. And I think that um, for me and probably for you who are listening, it is a wonderful thing to get in the practice of doing because it's so more, it's a, it's very, it's much more pleasing to look at. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And it, it just, for people, I feel like people are wanting that look uh, that they see on Pinterest or wanting look in the magazines. And I know people, uh, sometimes someone's frustrated and comes to me, why doesn't my house look like that? And that is the biggest issue mm -hmm. I see is lots of small things instead of fewer big things. Mm -hmm. Right. Something yeah. and memorable. That's exactly right. And something larger, especially those wallpaper panels. Okay. I'm also redoing my bedroom, and I just have the perfect wall for it. Okay, go ahead. Make a note. We'll, we'll wait. Uh, no, I, that's okay. <laughs> I, I'm still DIY hang. That's about all I can put in my, my mind right now. Yeah, oh. okay. Um, uh, could I do another one? Yes, please. How about, well, I, we've got to say the D word, dishes. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we that would be remiss. everyone. We would yes. be remiss if we didn't say dishes. You're right. Oh, yes. Yes. Hanging yes. I have dishes. a little note here. That's thank you. Yeah. You get so you get tip of the day. You mentioned the day oh, work. There you we go. All <laughs> get a, we all get a gold star today on our foreheads. Okay. Awesome. That's right. Well, the dishes, um, I think, work everywhere, especially on a wall. And that's a little bit different where I said uh, big, just one big thing versus a lot of little things. If you have a grouping of several plates, that counts as one big thing thing that's a great that's exactly right mm -hmm. but here's the thing be very um judicious and curate mm -hmm. what you put on the wall because it can either look absolutely fabulously gorgeous mm -hmm. and chic or it can look like a big hot mess <laughs> well i think you know i'm just i'm just there is hey, getting just being dishes. honest well, but what you're saying, I think, is, Yvonne, go with a limited color palette. Is that what you're saying on those dishes? Yes, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> Which is one of That's our favorite things. Wow. All the keywords are coming out. Buzzword. That's right. We so have don't to do have a little thing of... where if you if you get the buzzword for the day and you call in, you're the winner. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Third call 
color that gets the buzzword. So yeah, yeah. we certain we like to work certain terms into each mm-hmm. episode because it's important. If you have a lot of plates and there are a lot of different colors, it has that kind of confused, chaotic mm-hmm. look. But it if you does. have a single color or one or two that as a thread throughout all of the mm-hmm. dishes, that's that cohesive look that makes it feel like it's one big thing right. versus yeah. a lot of purposeful. little disjointed And things, arrangement. Right? And well, first of all, you can never go wrong with white. Yes. You know, there's so many beautiful white plates, platters. And if you um, have a dark color on the wall, it looks even, uh, even better. Mm. Yes. There's a couple examples of bloggers that um, have just done it so right. So I'll, I'll try to find mm-hmm. those. Uh, if you look on Pinterest, there you'll find them. If you look at, you know, dish arrangements. And if you've got a wall. wallpaper wall, a lot of times that looks great to take white the dishes white. and put it on that wallpapered wall. And it's just you, a, uh, an amazing look. You are talking my love language, girl. That's right. <laughs> no. I just love... I, I, now I want to go wallpaper a wall and hang white dishes on we'll, it. We'll wait. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Another note. <laughs> a note to self. <laughs> oh, note to Bobby. Oh, no, to Bobby, yeah. Yeah, he does the wallpapering in this house. Get him his underwear first so he'll be happy. and then You know what? Can... Definitely. Yeah, definitely. then he'll do it. All the boys in my family are now getting underwear for Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Hey, but, you know. Yeah, um, hanging those dishes. And I, I like to see varying sizes and shapes. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And the old days, you know, everything had to be very symmetrical, and it's just not the case anymore. So mm-hmm. there's so much, so many fun designs you can do with the dishes you can just kind of make it asymmetrical kind of swirly Mm -hmm. whatever you want there's just so many beautiful ways to do it and the rules have just gone out the door Mm -hmm. and i have a post uh on how to hang them where the hardware doesn't show i will put it in the show notes a very inexpensive and so do i and mm -hmm. Uh, you have you have like a zero dollar way of hanging it yeah which i love Mm -hmm. soda top thing mm-hmm. um oh, yeah. the, let's talk about hanging things okay so and we're not going to get too much into how you hang and all uh, materials mm-hmm. you might use to do that but i do have one idea i want to share and i've done it a couple of times in this house um if you have something a mirror or a framed piece that either you're going to hang from a ribbon or a chain or something mm-hmm. think about so now you have the hook where the ribbon or chain or you know whatever it's going to dangle from is hanging on. So that's a little bit of real estate that you might want to do something interesting with. Um, I've done two things in this house that I really like. There were, I found a collection of skeleton keys in the house. I don't know what locks they went to and we're not using them, mm-hmm. but I didn't, I wanted to use them somehow. So I tied them up with some twine and then I, attach them with the twine to the hook that was on the wall. So can you picture that? Oh, yeah. So I have yeah. the skeleton keys, like a little ring of maybe five of them. And then I have twine attached to this really pretty uh, mirror, dainty sort of mirror that I got in anthropology. So they're they're dangling, then the twine is on attached. On top of the mirror? Or yeah, on top of it. Mm-hmm. So they're, okay, they're nice. attached to the the hook so that's it's the nail it's like you have two things hanging really right from that one nail yeah mm-hmm. and then i just did something with a mirror i bought a very heavy mirror at um lloyd and lane one of my favorite local shops and when i got it home i was like aghast to find the back had the two hooks Oh, not the yeah. one hook. Yes, so then, you yeah. know, you have to make sure and then it's got to be level. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And it was so heavy. And as and the I've... hooks on the back, that's my pet peeve. Sometimes they're not exactly level with yeah. each other. Right. So, you've so you're starting from account. an unlevel plane. Okay. This is where you need to go into your toolbox or toolbox episode and find, get your leveler out. Uh, mm-hmm. But you know what? Well, mm-hmm. yeah, this is what I did. Listen yeah, to what I okay. did. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay. Okay. So I said, oh, in horror, this is the thing. And I'm going into <laughs> lath and plaster, which is not, you know, oh, the, yes, this, yes. The, the best situation. You don't want to make holes in that unnecessary. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Right. So I got, are they called carbuncles or something like that? You know, those clippy things that you can clip stuff Carabiner? together. Carabiner? Carabiner. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or what carbuncle. Did I call it? Whatever. <laughs> no, I think a carbuncle. I think a carbuncle. I think that's part of the underwear. Oh my god! I can't stop laughing. That's so funny. Okay, I'm so silly. So 
<laughs> oh, how did I not know that word? It's too early in the morning. How did you get carabiner from that? I don't know. So I knew what you, I, see, because we're on the same wavelength, that's how. I know. Oh, Aren't my. you afraid you knew what I was saying? Like, you are <laughs> spending scary. way too much time with me. Okay, so I got two of those. Say it again, Anita, what did I get? Carabiner. I got two carabiners, little ones, at the hardware store. Mm-hmm. And I hooked them into those little toothy things that are on the back, yes. you know, on either mm-hmm. side. And then I bought this pretty chain also from the hardware store that was black and my mirror is framed in black. And I attached the those things to the hooks. Then I attached the chain to those. So now oh, I only oh had gosh. to make one hole at the top. I gotcha. But I and don't then I hung it from the chain. And then from the chain I put this really darling twiny tassel. And it looks fabulous. Oh, oh I don't think nice. she means carabiners though. Because oh, you don't think they... so? I don't know. Are they? I think of a carabiner as a something with a like a, a stretchy cord. No, no. It's like no. A, it's a little hook. It's a little okay. hook that okay. like okay. latches okay. in. You can squeeze it. It's for it. like climbing. Okay. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. It's, gotcha. It's gotcha, for gotcha. repelling or yes. hanging a heavy frame. Yes. In, in oh, your house. that <laughs> is so <laughs> funny. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And that deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy-to-reach goal is to add DOS to your wellness regime. DOS is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. I just remember Carbuncle is part of the whole underwear thing. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even know if Carbuncle is a word. Right. I don't know. I'm going to look it up. I thought it was something on your phone. That's a bunion. <laughs> or a corn. It's a corn and a bunion. No, I'm looking that one up. I know there's something. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I think silly. I was thinking like a carbuncle is like something under the sea. Now, oh, we, that's, this a bar- so- that's a barnacle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We need to stop okay. that. Okay, okay. Who has another one? Okay. Oh, I have something. I have something if I can stop laughing. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> walls uh you can put on your wall a door or a window any kind of vintage mm, architectural piece i think is great 
uh, like I yeah. said, I took the door and made it into the chalkboard, but you can get an old window that's just, and it's the frame that's what's so beautiful about it. Or, you know, just any kind of old piece from a building. I've used old corbels to make a shelf. So any kind of old piece of something that came from a building, I think is fun to put on the wall. Yes, oh, I do wow, too. Wow, beautiful. Charm, Girls. charm, charm. Girls, How about have vintage to... postcards? I love vintage postcards. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. I know they have vintage. They, they have so many great postcards out today. They that do. That are um, like replicas of details of artwork or just cute little sayings that could go in a frame. Hey, I have to interrupt. Carbuncle, you were the closest, Anita. It's a severe abscess or boil on the skin. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I just want to be very clear. I don't have that. <laughs> okay, it has just... nothing to do with underwear. Oh, and no, nothing to do with that great underwear. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, how funny. But the thing with the vintage postcards, though, is, you know, it, and they are small. So would you ever, would you consider maybe making a, um, like an overlapping collage of them? Like if you said, oh, I'm going to get all vintage postcards from a certain place or, uh, you know, I think I would put them on a bulletin board or something, something like that. Yes. Or That's how about nice just idea. in all the, I think the way to bring that together, if you wanted to do a, like a, a collage on the wall, would it be put them all in the same kind of frame, same color, same weight, mm -hmm. um, just to tie that all together. So maybe do a grouping, like we're talking about the plates mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and make it I think be that one would thing. Work. Yeah. I really think that would work. I wow. think so too. And I, somebody mentioned hats. I think that was Anita. I love mm -hmm. that idea, too. Mm -hmm. I have a pin that I have pinned over and over again. Every six months or so, somehow it comes through my feet. And it's just all these straw hats. It's a very summery-looking house. It's mm -hmm. all painted white. And, you know, it looks like, you know, it, it, a little sand might be on the floor. It's just really charming. Mm -hmm. But just, they, in this particular image, they have all these straw hats. You know, again, oh, all the same yes. color, all the same texture, but different shapes. And it just looks so fantastic. I mean, mm -hmm. Of course, you're going to, if you ever decide to take it off, you've got a lot of holes in your wall, but maybe you could even do those little 3M things if you were going to do something I bet you super that lightweight. would hold it up very mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. I bet you Yeah, that I would. actually took a basket one time and had sticks in it and then put the ba put the straw hats on top of the sticks. So it looked like a basket of straw <sighs> hats. Which sounds a little odd, but it was kind of cute. How cute. God, you're good. You are good. So, you oh, are stop. good. I love it. That's a great idea. So, okay. Any more tips? Because... Uh, oh, my goodness. Look at the time. I, I have to go. I have to go soak my carbuncle. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to order underwear from Frico. No, seriously. <laughs> let's all do that. Let's okay. treat our... Let's treat the, the, the guys we know to some... And use your discount code. Yes. That's right. So Tricks. that is Tricks, and the website is? Iwearfrigo.com. Awesome. And we'll have that in the show notes. Okay. Yeah. Well, on that note, this has been so much fun. Oh, my goodness. And we learned a new word. <laughs> Several new words. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So anyway, so remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. There. If you're loving our podcast like we're loving our podcast, we would love you to rate and review us. Head to iTunes to do that. It's easy and it would mean so much to us.